everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. And again, it does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. Before we get into Major League Baseball picks for September the 19th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools that you will need. So the Major League Baseball season is down to the last two weeks, and there are plenty of games of importance as the playoff picture has not yet fully been decided. So let's take a look at some of the games. Let's go down through here. Some of the action. The Cleveland Indians and the New York Yankees. We're not going to take a look at that one. Colorado and Washington. Minnesota. Toronto. Baltimore. Boston. Yeah, we're going to take a look at five of these matchups. With the full slate of games. Detroit. Tampa Bay. The Dodgers and the Cincinnati Reds. This is one we're going to take a look at. The Dodgers are on the tails of the Giants for first in the National League West. The Reds are third in the National League Central, fighting for a wild card spot. The Dodgers are burning hot at the moment. You can see they've won their last six. The Reds have dead status at the moment. They have lost five out of their last six. The pitching matchup is Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers and Wade Miley for the Reds. Kershaw is 9-7 with a 3.33 ERA and has been a relatively poor bet though at minus $98. Miley, on the other hand, is a very solid bet at plus $377 and has a 12-6 mark with a 3.09 ERA. If you look at the power ranking indicator, the Dodgers are plus 28. The Reds have tumbled there down to plus 1. If you're considering the over-under in this game, take a look at the totals predictor. See the Dodgers trending slightly over the line after being trending under the line for you know, the better part of a month. While the Reds have been trending under the line for about the same period of time for the better part of a month. Let's take a look at the uh, scores prediction here. 8-2 to two for the Dodgers with a 70.1% level of confidence. That's a pretty good level of confidence. The Dodgers are clearly the better team. I would say um, go with the Dodgers to win and go with the under. Pirates and the Marlins. Diamondbacks and Astros. Here's another good matchup, the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. In this National League Central battle, the Brewers are in first place, and the Cubs are struggling in fourth in the division. The Brewers have an advantage in the power ranking indicator. If you look here, the Brewers at plus 21, and the Cubs at plus 10. Their average status at the moment, they have lost their last two, but four and two over the last six. While the Cubs are ice cold down, coming off a loss to the Phillies, and they are two and four over their last six. If you look at the totals predictor, you can see that the Cubs have been up and down with respect to, uh, in their games, trending over and under the line. Right now, they're trending a little bit under, and Milwaukee is trending over. The scores prediction tells us that Milwaukee has a good chance of winning the game by a score of 7-1 to one with 69% level of confidence. I would pick the Brewers to come away with the win. And I think that the game will probably go under the line. Seattle and Kansas City. <clears throat> San Diego and St. Louis. Here's another good matchup. The Padres have not been playing good ball lately, but they are still battling for a wild card spot as well as the Cardinals. And in fact, they come in to the game with nearly an identical record. The Padres are dead up, having lost five out of their last six. They are coming off a 9-6 win over the front-running San Francisco Giants. The Cardinals are burning hot at the moment. You can see they have won five out of their last six. The pitching matchups have not yet been decided for this game. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see clearly here that the Cardinals are on the upward trend at plus 27, while the Padres are down here at plus 1 as of September the 15th. If you consider the over and under, you can see that the Padres are trending over the line. And the Cardinals are in games trending under the line as of late. Let's see if the scores predictor tells us. Well, the scores predictor is showing a score that would go under the line, 6-1 to one in favor of the Cardinals. But the confidence in prediction is just a little bit better than the toss of a coin of 57%. So take a look at that before making your decision. But I really do think that the Cardinals will win this game. I do agree with... Uh, the lower scoring game, and I would go with the Cardinals and bet the under. The White Sox and Rangers, the Braves and Giants. The Braves and Giants could be a good matchup. We're not going to take a look at that one, though. No. We're going to take a look at the Phillies and the Mets. 
Here's an interesting battle because both teams are fighting to keep their slim playoff chances alive, both hovering around the 500 mark. You see neither team has played their best ball lately. Ice cold up for the Phillies and ice cold down for the Mets. Um, the pitching matchup Kyle Gibson for the Phillies against Rich Hill for the Mets. Gibson is 10-7 and 7 with a 3.49 ERA and has been a good bet, though, at plus $241. Hill, on the other hand, is 6-7 with a 3.88 ERA and a minus $97 on the pitcher profit oscillator, so he has not been a good bet. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, not a surprise because both teams have been playing poorly. The Phillies are plus 3. They were up as high as plus 21 on September the 12th, and that match all the way down at 0. If you're considering the over and under for this one, let's take a look at the scores predictor. Excuse me, the totals predictor first. Phillies are playing in games trending under the line. Mets playing in games trending over the line. I usually try to avoid the over-under on that one. And I will in this case. But as far as the outcome of the game, the score prediction has the Phillies uh, with an 8-2 win with a confidence in prediction right around 50%. I do agree with the uh, score prediction. Maybe not by the exact score, but I do think the Phillies will come away with the win and keep their playoff chances Although slim, keep them alive. So there you have it. Those are all the matchups here for Major League Baseball for the September the 19th. So again, get your bets in. Maybe take a look a day or two before the games to see if anything has changed as far as pitching matchups, score predictions, and whatnot. But there you have it. Happy betting, and we will see you next week.